What are your orders? My orders. Shall we break off the attack? Regather our forces. Break off the attack? We have already sustained considerable losses. Perhaps in the circumstances it would be better if we took ourselves out. Okay. Ah! and glory to Yah, Bashem, Yah, Bashai. Double honor to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations are hopefully hopeful elect Akiyom that doing his work in truth and sincerity and in, tr and, and in truth. Salakia. Um, I'm going to start off with scripture. Okay? This is GMS um, Ancient of Days. GMS Inland Empire. You know, so I'm just going to get on with a quick lesson as a response to um, Apostle Ramlab. Listen up. You know, um, I felt, felt the apostles um spirit on this one hard, you know, because every um video they do, I take it within the spirit, man, because you have to flow through the spirit. So you want you want to be one of those brothers, you know, you gotta catch that bus, man. Don't let that bus leave you, man. And when when you don't want to catch that bus and you want to wait for the next bus, that's extinguishing the spirit, man. Alright, you gotta ride the wave, ride that wave, man. Ride the wave, okay, because this is crunch time. This shit is about to go down. And if you and you as you can see the prophecies is coming to play, man. So I just want to get with the with the lesson in hand. Alright? This is Sarat um 10 and um 19. Alright? Sarat 10. No, no. Eclipse, yeah. Sarat 10 and 19. Salakia. They that fear the Lord are a sure seed. Alright? And they that love him. Is an honorable plant. They that regard not the law are a dishonorable seed. All right. They that transgress the commandments are a deceivable seed. So there you go, man. If the apostles tell you to, to get in the spirit, doing three videos a day, get in the spirit to do so. Ride that wave. That's the spirit because this is not the first time he been um, putting videos about bro doing more videos. It's been going on for months, even a couple years. All right, so you have to follow that wave, that spirit, man. If you're not following that, you're being a natural man, man. Okay, so I'm gonna read it again. This is Sirach 10 and 19. They that fear the Lord are a sure seed. Now, when it says they that fear the Lord, what's the beginning? What's the what's the beginning of discipline? Is to fear the Lord, man. All right, so if you fear the Lord, you will ride that wave, man. All right, that's being in the spirit. Because if you see the spirit. Writing, saying, do videos, do more videos. You got to ride that bus, man. Okay? It shouldn't be like, you know, you got a parent telling a child to do, and he sucks his teeth, man. And that's how they, that's, that's why he did that three-minute video, man. Okay? It's like you a parent telling a child to do something, and he sucks his teeth, man. Okay? Ride this, be in the spirit, man. All right? And if you fear the Lord, you be in the spirit. Okay? So um, let me get um, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 19. All right? That's the spirit right here. You know, I had these scripts lined up since last night. Fucking Esau trying to work me to death. But it's all good, though, because I have plenty of energy, man. All right? Plenty of energy, man. All right? It's 1 Thessalonians 5 and 19. Quench not the spirit. 
So when you have like, oh, uh, I don't know about doing all this, man. You know, God damn, you ask me too much. You quenching the spirit, man. Okay? You're not riding that wave, man. You're not riding that bus. Okay? You don't want to be like that, um, that group back in the days for your older brothers that know crisscross saying I missed the bus, man. You want to get on that bus, man. All right? This is um first lesson first Thessalonians 5 and 19. Quench not the spirit, despise not prophesying, man. You don't supposed to despise this, man. You supposed to go out there and prophesy, man. Do a lot of videos, man. And that goes for me and that goes for the rest of the brothers, man. Alright? When I saw that video, it, it put me on, more on fire, man. More put more heat to the ass, man. You know what I'm saying? This is not to break. Brothers down, man. It's just to light a fire under you, man. Okay? And whoever's not with that right, whoever's not with the wave, man, you already know when that day of reckoning comes, your house shot is going to return. <laughs> man, we going to see your work, man. Okay? Um, Let me read it again. First Thessalonians, First Thessalonians 5 and 19. Quench not the spirit, despise not prophesying. Prove all things, hold fast that which is good. And what what's to hold fast? This this word, man. I don't know the gra I don't know if y'all know the gravity when you've been chosen to do this work, man. I don't I don't think um brothers understand the gravity where you in, man. Once you step into this word, man, you cannot run away from it, man. Okay? Once a command is laid out, you follow it, man. We're soldiers, man. This supposed to be the house of David. There's order. There's always order here, okay? So if you're a soldier, you got to follow on commands, man, okay? If the Spirit's saying to prophesy more, do it, man, okay? Because we are at war right now, man. We are at war with the so-called white man. We are at war with the other nations. We are at war with these niggas and these stupid-ass spicks out there. You know what I'm saying? We are at spiritual warfare right now, man. And, and, and the heat is coming hotter, man. All right? Uh, let me get, um... Let me get 1 Timothy 5 and 17. Bear with me on this. Because, hey, man, the, the, the heat is coming into this kitchen, man. All right? And we got to stay in it, man, and, and, and fight harder, man. We don't run away from it, man. We don't grumble on things. We just do it, man. And that's it. And, get, and guess what? You reap the reward, man. All right? We reap the reward. That's what it's about, man. It's about the getting the kingdom, getting that crown. Putting these other nations in subjection, man. Putting, Making their heads bow. Putting your foot right on top of their heads, man. And breaking their teeth, man. Okay? That reward, man. All right? Is this, is this no, no coincidence? The spirit is pushing harder. Because this shit is about to roll, man. All right? And that's the that's what I'm getting through the spirit, man. This shit is about to roll. This shit is about to get hot, man. All right? Um, this is 1 Timothy 5 and 17. 5 and 17. Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor. So, you know, I see... Throughout the years, you know, brothers that fell out because they couldn't follow simple commands, because they were too fleshly, they were not in the spirit. You know, they keep saying all oh, double honors to the apostle of the great millstone. Do you do you know why you're saying that, man? Double honors? Because they the ones who look out for the flock, man. They they going through the spirit, man. Alright? So when you see that that wave, you ride on that wave, man. Okay? Because that's not gonna steer you wrong. So, but if you think he's staring wrong, you're thinking too fleshly, man. You're being a natural-ass nigga, man. Excuse my French. All right? So, this is 1 Timothy 5 and 17. Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor, especially they who labor in the word and doctrine. These apostles been in this word for years, man. All right? How long we been in it? Like, what, nine to ten years, man? We only like nine or ten-year-olds, man. You know? I'm not an elder. I'm just an elder brother. You know? I'm trying to push this word to the best I can, man. To, to, um, 
to get to um gather that sheep, man. To 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 gain more fruit. You know? To um to to get them ready for that marriage, man. You know, bid them into the marriage, man. That's our job. Prophesy and, and, and convert. You know, you get the elect, man. Lord willing, we're part of that number. All right? Um, yeah, so let the elders that rule well be counted kind of worthy of double honor, especially they who labor in the word and doctrine. And these apostles been laboring, man. They showed us the way. All right? Y'all know what to do, man. We know what to do. Lord willing, you know, we keep pushing on, man. All right? You know? They put the, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim the, they put the base on that vehicle. We know the base. Now it's, on, now it's us to, to drive it, man. Okay? Not to grumble about making videos, man. That's Come on, man. This shit is about to roll, man. For real, man. Okay. So, um, so like for um, ranting, you know, a little bit, man. But that's what it is, man. That's what it is. So let me get Hebrews. 13 and 17, all right? Yeah, because time is ticking, man. And you see what's going on. You see what's going on with, in the world, man, with Russia, China, Korea. Man, the war drums are, are beating right now, man. All right? The war drums is beating, man. It's time to take it to another gear, man. Remember, net neutrality is, is on its way here. It's already here. It's, it's already passed. So let's push harder, man. Okay? It's um, Hebrews 13 and 17. Hebrews 13 and 17. Um, obey them that have the rule over you. Obey them that have the rule over you. And submit yourselves. So when you go to the word submit, it, it goes to the Greek word saying hapaiko. Meaning to yield to authority, man. So the apostles say, yo, go out there and teach. Go out there and teach. But the apostles said to go out and do the videos. Do the videos, man. All right? Prophesy. That's our job. We're watchmen, man. They, they, yo, if these devils trying to turn it up, we're going to turn it up even more, man. All right? That's what it's about. This is about service, serve, be a good service to Yahweh Bashem Shai, the true worshipers, man. All right? We need to separate the real from the fake, man. All right? So is this Hebrews 13 and 17? Obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves, for they watch for your souls. You think by putting these, these, these commands they put out there is for, is, is for bullshit? No, man. It's the spirit, man. The spirit is alive, bro. The spirit is out there to push harder, man. And Lord willing, us brothers, man, we gonna we gonna take we gonna take take that baton, man, and push harder, man. All right. For they watch over your soul, and they must give account. For they must do it with joy and not with grief. For that is improper for you. The thing is, man, when a, when the order is sent out, you follow it, man. This is supposed to be the house of David, man. All right. If we're the house of David, man. We're some bad motherfuckers, man. Excuse my French, but we have to follow orders, man, and be in the spirit, man. All right? Let me go get um, 1 Corinthians 2 and 14. I'm sorry if I'm stretching this lesson out too long, but it was in my spirit, in my mind, man, because it was burning me, man. I was thinking about it the whole night at work, okay? 1 Corinthians 2 and 14. So bear with me, brothers, you know? Because we're in a battlefield, man. We in a battlefield. There ain't no rest, man. All right? There ain't no rest in a battlefield. All you brothers that was in the military, y'all know the deal, man. You know? Y'all know the deal. There's no rest, man. The enemy is going to come quick, man. So we're going to push harder, man. All right? What what to get that, that covering, to get that, you know, to be lifted out of here, man. Through the chariots, who, who you ignorant call UFOs, man. We want, I want to get out of here, man. Shit, do you? There's no time to be grumbling about bullshit, man. All right? Um, this is uh, 1 Corinthians 2 and 14. All right? Um, 
Let me get that real quick. Bear with me, brothers. All right. First Corinthians two and fourteen. Yeah. Wait, do I got it? Oh man. See, when I'm in the spirit, man, I get kind of angry a little bit. But you know, it's all spiritual. I think it's 2 Corinthians 2 and 14. Had on deck, man. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Um, Salaki, brother, Salaki. Uh, I think it's 1 Corinthians 2 and 15. About the natural man, so I knew I should have went live. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, so lucky brothers, bear with me, you know. Well, I see him cannot find it, but I had it here. All right. Oh, here we go. I got it. Here we go. First Corinthians two and four. Second, First Corinthians two and fourteen. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yashai, for they are foolishness unto him. See now, when you think of your emotions, you in the flesh, man. Right? You being a natural man. So if you complain about certain things and everything, you not in the spirit. You in the flesh. See, when you're in the spirit, you're going to ride that wave. You're going to be in that spiritual vehicle, riding with the spirit, man. Okay? So the spirit, of out, the spirit is out for you to do videos and everything, do more than what you can do, then do it. The spirit has been out there for a couple years already, man, to do more videos, man. It went from two, it went from three, and it went from as many as you can. Okay? That goes for myself. That goes for all the brothers, man. All right? So we can't be natural. You have to walk in the spirit. Okay? The spirit is heating up now, man. The spirit is, is deciphering the fake from the real. All right? The spirit is writing because this shit is about to roll, man. And Satan is about to rush. Okay? So, you know, the apostles are not doing this. They doing this because they watching over the flock. They see, they watchmen. They see what's coming. So the spirit is out there to do videos, do more. Okay? It's um Second Corinthians two and fourteen. But the natural man receives not the things of the spirit of Yahweh Bashmashah, for they are foolishness unto him. Not that he can know them because they are spiritually discerned. So if you sucking your teeth and having grumblings about doing more videos, then you're not a spirit, man. You're not you're not spiritually discerning what's going on, man. All right? That's what it is, man, you know? We got we got to stay on top of everything, man. So don't be that dishonorable seed, man. So when you were dishonorable seed, you was built on rock. Let me get that real quick. That's um, Luke. I think that's Luke 8 and 6, I think so. I think so, yeah, it should be. Yeah. Con. Like Luke 8. Luke 8 and 6, all right. And self and some fell upon a rock. And as soon as it was sprung up, it withered away because it lacked moisture. Why did it say that? Well, it's going to explain down later down the verse. But when you're not planted deep, rooted in this word, you're not going to be spiritual. You're going to be natural, man, because you have the worldly shit in you, that emotions, man, like a woman. Okay? When you are Israelite, you came to the truth, you a man of the Lord, man. But you got to become a man first before you become a man of the Lord. So if you got that emotion shit in you, man, you still acting like a goddamn woman, man. All right? Follow protocol, follow order, man. It's all through the spirit. This is good stuff, man. All right? Luke 8 and, and um, 6. And some fell upon rock. As soon as it was sprung up, it withered away because it lacked moisture. All right, so let me jump down to 13. They on the rock are they which, where they hear, receive the word with joy. All right? And these have no root. This is the dishonorable seeds. Why? Because they don't fear Yahweh, Bashim, Moshiach. And when you don't listen to the spirit, 
You don't know, have no fear of Yah Bashmi of Shai, man. Okay? The spirit is word and truth. Spirit is, is, the spirit is alive in this word, man. The Holy Spirit is this word, man. Okay? They on the rock are they which when they hear receive the word with joy, and these have no root, which while for a while believe, and in time of temptation fall away, man. Temptation, they fell away. Why? Because they're into their flesh, man. They being natural. All right? You know, so I hope your brothers are edified. Um, Salakia for the rant, you know. You know, you know, that's the spirit, man. Okay? All right? I hope your brothers were edified. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutations to the true Akiyam that doing his work in truth and sincerity. Shalom. Shalom.